Hi, I'm Mark from l &M Small Engine. Today we're working on this Snapper push mower with a Honda GCV160 engine on it. Uh, they said they couldn't get a star to mow their lawn, but when they brought it in here, I noticed that the inside of the spark plug wire is all corroded off, so we're to fix that. And they smelt the gas, and it's, it's old gas. So we're going to clean the gas tank out, clean the carburetor out, and either replace this or fix this coil wire so hope you enjoy the video okay i'm gonna take the recoil and shroud off so we can get to that coil wire the spark plug wire and these three nuts are 10 millimeter plus we have to take this all off so i drain the gas out of the tank because that is some old gas Well, the connecting clip is still in there. Maybe I might just cut a little bit of that corrosion off and try reclamping it. Well, it's pretty much all bent up and everything. But the boot's still in good shape, so I'm just going to find another, another end. Okay, I got these here. They come in like a pack of 10 from Stens. It's a 135-012. It's kind of like a universal. Well, they have like a little pointy thing in there. So you put your wire in here, then you fold and that squeezes in the wire and touches that center electrode. So let's go ahead and pop this whole plug out. Burning good. We're going to throw a new NGK in there. It's gapped at 35. Cut that bad end off. Squeeze it on there so it's nice and tight. And our old boot here, spray some, spray some WD-40 in there, and push it in there till that end lines up. And there we go. Just like new again. Now let's go concentrate on that carburetor next. We'll start draining that oil before we get to the carburetor. As you can see, that's black as can be. That's low. Okay, while well, it's finishing up, let's go ahead and work on that carburetor here. Definitely replace that filter. There's two 10 millimeter bolts we gotta take out here, it looks like. And there's a vent tube, crankcase vent tube. We have to unplug here. Don't lose none of the gaskets. These are kind of a pain in the butt. With this big bracket up front here. Just gotta remember when we put it back together. There's this gasket here and this like an intake reduction spacer that goes in there. We gotta make sure we get all that put in there. So let's go ahead and hook, unhook that fuel line. Okay, now we gotta unhook the choke. And the governor rod in the spring here. There we go. Gotta be careful so they don't tear none of them gaskets. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off before we tear it apart. This gasket here is kind of stuck. I don't want to tear it, so let's try leaving that on there. Oops. 
A little bit of dirt in the bottom and not bad. I think their main problem was just that spark plug connector on the boot came off. We'll make sure the jet is nice and clean and blow all that stuff out of the bowl. It's nice and clean. Make sure there's jets nice and clean. He'll shoot up in the venture. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a good thing we're cleaning out the gas tank because that gas is old. I don't think it would burn that much. I just burn like kerosene. The octane's pretty much out of it. Okay, now getting all this back together again. So we'll probably hook up all the linkages before we worry about all the gaskets and stuff. Our spring. Now our choke. So we're going to start this first. There we go. Push them bolts. Are they coming out of the back of the Okay, now I'm going to make sure everything's working. Now we got to put this vent, vent hose back on and the fuel line down there. Grab an air filter. Okay, I'm going to go grab that gas tank and blow it out real quick, and we'll hook up that next. Okay, blew the gas tank out real good. Hook the fuel line up. Okay, I'm going to mount the recoil on there and finish sucking it all about, put new oil in there. Let's tighten them up. Okay, let's do that oil now. And these boilers take a 1030. We're going to put 16 ounces in there and check it. There we go. 
So all I gotta do is hold my check the blade before we take it off the table. Put it on the ground, put some gas in it, see what happens. Okay, let's put some premium fuel in there and see what happens, I guess. They didn't leave the bag, so I gotta be careful so I don't blow all that stuff in my face. Okay, chokes on. Just gotta watch out for debris here. Runs like new again. Then the majority of the problem with just the gas is getting old in there and there's no spark because uh, that little end on the spark plug wire is gone. But they'll be happy now. Anyways, appreciate you watching the video. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon.